Father, I want to be just like you. I said, do is that right? He said, yes. I said, are you working? He said, yes. I said, you got your own place. He said, yes. I said, you got your own car. He said, yes. I said, let us pray. I said, Father, in the name of Jesus, this young man said he want to be just like me. I pray that you make him lose his house, make him lose his car. The young man said, hey, wait a minute. What you praying about? But you see, a lot of people see your story, but they don't know your story. They, I have been to hell and back. I have been to somewhere to get to where I am now. Look at somebody and say, I didn't get here about milk and bread, but baby, I had to go through something to get to where I am now. Look at your baby and say, baby, I don't know about you, but I have had a heart in life. But look at somebody else and say, I made it, I made it, I made it, I made it. Tell somebody else, the best is yet to come. But you got to understand, you got to understand, I need to stay right there. You got to understand, if God allowed a thing to happen, then that means that you're going to come out with a victory. If God allowed a thing to happen, then that means that God is in the midst of it. And I discover, even while I'm in the midst of my trials and tribulation, I still believe in giving God my best praise. How many of you can praise God when you're going through when things don't look right? Just give me a high five and stay safe stay safe. And somebody right here right now need to understand that what you are experiencing now is necessary. You are you trying to figure out why that man walked out and left you. Baby, God had it already planned out. God said he ain't for you. You trying to figure out why members are leaving your church. God said, I'm putting them out of there. But you got to understand what God is doing. God said, my plan is bigger than your little mind. Or can I get any help in here? How many know that? That God got a plan for your life. I need some real folks in here need God to work on you. To show you where you need to be in life. Maybe sometimes God has to move some people out of your way in order for you to get to the next step. In order for you to get to the next level. How many know that everybody can't handle your success? I need some people in here ready to go to a higher level. And how many know every time God takes you up to a higher dimension, you're going to meet some new demons. Look at somebody and say, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, because the devil got his hands on you now.